Um, we are in the red state and we got quite a couple of failing tests at the moment and the reason is probably something like COVID right? because even the no winner yet is is throwing an in our um, current state. It's probably this bit here. Yep. So what I do is I replace that, I hit F6 just to get the tests executed again and then we see where we stuck. Okay, that's a little bit better. Set first character read, yeah, that's what we are doing at the moment. And that's what, that's the test that got us here actually. So, game board. So now here we actually specifying the game board and probably it would make sense to move that in its own test class. So what I do is I create a new test class called called game board specifications game board specifications and I move that to the separate file I make resharp a heavy and by the way since I'm here I'm moving all out my my Don't do that. Yep. So I have my game, I have my game board, I have my tic tac toe specifications, and I have the game board specifications. And now I'm in the middle of fixing the game board specification. Um, yeah, first test. I'm actually in the moment. Set first character to read. Um, set last read. Last. So what I do is, I want like, come on, that should work, zero, zero, zero. If I init the board with a zero, zero, didn't like that. Then. Yep, that's fine, that's fine. If I do that. With this, I'm expecting an X on the position 0, 1. No? It is it 1, 0? Yeah, that, that would be right. No? Actually, it is not. Oh, I have to E++. plus plus. I forgot that one. Yay! Init board X is failing though, so it is probably because I'm doing this. Yeah, okay. So that that tells me that I've got the mod modulo and the this bit wrong. The cool thing is I didn't need to debug this in order to find that out, which is quite cool. I should be in a green state hopefully at the moment. takes quite long. Yep, so I'm making sure. Yep, that's okay. Quite happy with the game board. Let's look at the game. If that read only, just to make the sharp happy. And the build succeeded. And let's see if my tests are running. It should be. Just for the sake, I'm actually putting here a different character. That's great. Let's let's set it be. Just to be sure that we are not we have not hard coded a B somewhere. So these two tests actually help me to nail the, the the initialize of the game board. And because I see here that all these tests are named the same, it would make sense to them in their separate class, especially because I'm creating more tests around the game board pretty pretty quick. Um, okay, let's let's skip that for a moment. Okay.
Which last board, X in a row, get winner is X. So at the moment we're basically always returning the first, this, this character here. So now I'm writing a test that is going to break down in second row. Initialize board with X in the second row. And I should get the winner as X. Um, yeah. So in this case, I think it is time to implement the logic around the board. This is the play. This is the get winner. Now, who should calculate the winner? Should it be the game board, or should it be the game itself? are the same in row zero. Return. Looks actually in row one. Let's create that method. Row number. And here what I do is I need to write something like board on the position, this is not the row, this is 0 and the row is the same as in the second position and is the same as in the third position then Return true, um, return false. No, that's not good. Zero, one, one equals two. Two, one, two. Oh, then we should one. So this is actually the row. Int row equals one. X in row get winner is X. So that's now the ah oh, the first test is failing. That's the other one that is failing at the moment. Okay. So it should do that with row zero. See why X is in second row. So this true fail, and the true. Um, I think I like this better. Initialize board X in second row. Get winner is X. X in second row. Winner is X. Ah, because these are all the same symbols, actually. That's that's all the white space, so white space are the same. Okay. So somehow I need to make sure if and when this is actually his player. This player returns me return s is x or s is o. Let's see if that runs. Yeah, now I'm green again. So I need to see if all the row markers are the same, and they are actually that is actually a player. So what I want to do is I want to push that down.
and Y. It becomes still green. And I'm copying that bit here because I'm basically doing the same. So I'm doing it for row 0 and I'm doing it for row 1. And I should probably do it for row 2. But I don't have a failing test yet. So I need to write a failing test for that. Um, tic tac toe specification. I don't like this whole setup here. Okay, I don't have a copy of this test. That's not very nice. And now, this bird, third row, get with this X. Let's just see if I can create a bird looking test. Yep, I have. And now I create another one where I say we do that for row number two. Yep. So here what I don't like mixing levels of abstraction, which is not very nice. Anti duplication obviously. Um here what I don't like is I have this kind of tests. They give me the basically the gameplay, which is quite cool. I'm happy with that as an example. But then we have these tests here, where we're actually calculating that winner and with the different business rules. And I think this somehow should be in a different test class. Yeah, for sure. So I cut out those three guys. And I make a new class. Um, tic tac rules, tac tac rules, positions. Test class. So, yep, I create the game like that. So these these tic tac toe specifications are more to specify the API, which is quite cool. This um, is my to-do list. Let's see if everything is green. Yeah. Then I have here the initialized board X in a row. The initialized board is actually game board specifications. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I leave that. Um, X in first row. I don't need this initialized board anymore here. So this is kind of the given x in first row. When I initialize the board, then the winner should be x, which is quite OK. So I'm testing here. Mm -hmm. What happens if I do that with the O? Just to see if it still works. Does. Let me create another test here just to be sure. Oh, in the front row, good winner is. Oh. I don't like the X here in the test name. Um, what I do is markers the same in first row. I'm testing the get winner function. Um, um, get winner function markers the same row and then I expect okay that's good. Yep, I prefix my test now with the get winner. <coughs> hmm? Like that. And I move that to a separate class. I make really sharper heavy. Marcus in the same the same in first row. Yeah, Marcus the same in second row. Same in third row. And then um, Marcus the same for with the O. Let's see if that works. Yep. Example. So here I have an example game. I have the get winner function that I'm testing. Then I have the initial init, init board that I'm testing, and then I'm 
say mark already placed, I get an exception. If the same player plays twice, I get an exception. Very nice. Time to do some refactoring.